Good morning. Welcome to this session of E403 Distributed Generation and Smart Grids. In the last video or in the last session we had seen dynamic energy management and today we will be seeing advanced metering infrastructure. Before we proceed further, let us see a quote by Dr. Mr. Mahatma Gandhi. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. I am Dr. Unikrishnan PC, Professor, Electrical and Electronics Engineering Department, Rajagiri School of Engineering and Technology, Cochin. We are now into module 5. What is AMI? AMI is simply in the integration of the advanced metering technology with communication technology to allow two-way communication between the utility and the consumer or consumer meter basically. So various components of AMI are smart meters at the user end and a smart meter network to collect basic information from the smart meter. This could be using Zigbee, GSM, broadband over the power line, internet, intranet, Wi-Fi, etc. Then the next component is the meter data concentrator unit. The function of this unit is to get the required data from the smart meter. So basically data acquisition. Then meter data acquisition system and finally the integration of the uh, the data with the MDMS which is meter data management system integrating it to the SCADA and the IT infrastructure for the MDMS. So let us see the components one by one. First a neighboring area network. A neighboring area network will connect all the smart meters in a neighboring area. It might be using power line communication or PLC in RF frequency or it may be using radio communication and then the data goes to through the communication network to a DCC router. DCC stands for direct client to client. It's basically an internet related chat related sub protocol enabling peer to peer using an IRC server for handshaking in order to exchange files or perform non-relayed charts, chats. And from the DCC router through the LAN it reaches the MDMS, Meter Data Management System. The secondly, smart meters. These meters should support a communication interface so that it can be connected to the NAN. A meter data concentrator or basically it is a collector. It is, respo it is responsible for supporting communication with the meters over the NAN to collect periodic measurements and alarms generated at the meters as well as to send comments sent by the MDMS to the meters and receive the corresponding responses. 
and finally the head end it is the AMI's solutions meter management system it communicates with the meter concentrator over an IP connection provided by the smart grid the characteristics of AMI it is a link between the consumer and the grid the generation and the storage options distributed at consumer locations can be monitored and controlled it allows consumers to actively participate in markets and smart meters enable rapid detection diagnosis and resolution of pq problems which arise quite frequently and the distributed operating model reduces vulnerability to terrorist attacks it provides self healing by helping oms outage management system detect and locate failure faster it can also provide a unique or ubiquitous distributed communications infrastructure it can be also used to improve the asset management and operations this is an overview of ami what you see here is the residential or commercial and industrial smart meters and their associated home area network or local area network continuously communicates with different layers of the ami which is the consumer portal layer metering layer and communication layer so these lands and hns home area networks can communicate to the consumer portal layer or metering layer and the communication layer will be directly communicating to the mdms through a communication channel and this data can be used for various analysis billing then providing feedback to the customers and operations benefits of ami we can classify this into customer benefits utility benefits and societal benefits for the customer he can have more choices price options less intrusion and more information to manage his consumption cost and other decisions for the utility it allows to provide accurately and timely bills operate the entire power system more efficiently and reliably and provide better consumer service or customer service and societal benefits improved efficiency in energy delivery and use and producing an a very favorable environmental impact facilitate demand response and innovative energy tariffs and modern ami meters maintain their accuracy over time resulting in a more equitable situation for all customers but there are challenges too high capital cost standardization is a problem interoperability standards needs to be defined integrating various technologies like electrical it communication need to be done educating the customer is the first thing to be done and there are regulatory barriers this is a picture of the ami china and now we move on to another part which is the local area network or lan lan is a packet data communication network system which offers high bandwidth communication over a comparatively restricted geographic area ranging from 1 km to 10 km the advantage is resource sharing covering larger area cost and availability the cost in connecting large number of consumers 
will be reduced high channel speed flexibility this data transmission can be unicast multicast or can be broadcast and the topologies may be point to point mesh bus ring star or tree as shown in this picture this is a bus technology and a star technology from the topology itself you can understand how a star and a ring is different a mesh technology tree or point to point technology then moving on to home area network this is a dedicated network that is deployed and operated within a small boundary like home or a small office it is a sub system within the smart grid de dedicated to dsm and includes energy efficiency and demand response which are the key components of realizing value in a smart grid deployment it connects devices in the home such as displays load control devices and ultimately smart appliances seamlessly into the smart metering system a picture of hn home area network is shown here it also consists of software applications to monitor and control these networks it can be used effectively to monitor and manage various loads it can be wired or wireless and various technology standards are also there home plug power line alliance z wave zigbee alliance and what are the benefits it assists the utility in managing peak electric demand which is the most important benefit it also allows smart grid applications to communicate intelligently by providing centralized access to multiple appliances and devices in located at homes or in a small office enables a stress free electric grid avoiding potential blackouts it also provide energy monitoring controlling and energy consumption information about appliances and devices thereby optimizing energy usage and also the consumer will be alerted periodically about his usage prices etc by the utility the challenges integration of various technology solution is the first challenge interoperability consumer privacy and security that is also of concern because the utility can continuously monitor the consumer now moving on to neighboring area network nan it's basically used to collect information from smart meters so they allow smart grid infrastructure to connect smart meters and distribution automation equipment to wide area gateways wireless community covering a geographical area larger than han it consists of groups of individuals devices or buildings with similar communication characteristics for example bulk generation transmission distribution consumer utilities or operations here the the ge geographical boundary of han nan van etc is shown here from nan moving on to wide area network van it's a net network that covers a large geographical area like the internet usually interconnecting lands various types of van sir point to point technologies circuit switch technologies packet switch technologies and here a van connected to interconnecting various nans and how the nans 
get information from data concentrators is shown in a nice way and with that we finish the session these are the references and abbreviations feel free to contact me and uh, with that we wind up with a beautiful picture of brindavan gardens mysore sir mirza ismail the diwan of mysore built it in 1932 this is dr unikrishnan pc signing off thank you